Well, Lee, I've been watching some of your skills. You've very, very handy with, with those fists of yours. Just tell us how you got into boxing. Um, well, I did gymnastics when I was seven, and then I broke my elbow on the bars. So then I had to stay off gymnastics for a bit, and then um, my dad said to find a new sport because I didn't feel comfortable on the equipment. And then he mentioned boxing, so I tried it, and now I'm boxing. And you realised that you, you could you could beat everybody up basically in your gym. I've been hearing about you anyway, so you, you're quite ferocious, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> and what about this gold medal that you recently won? Tell us about that. Uh, I went to Sweden in the Golden Girls Championships and I won gold. And then I had a recent fight. Well, it was in February and it was a tough fight and I won by a split decision. And I know Dave is your, your normal coach, but you, you've got a new coach now because you have uh, a bit of a mentorship going on here with Chantel. So, what do you make of her? Oh, she's unbelievable. Yeah, she's got a better backhand than me. Who's jealous? <laughs> Strong as well. And how do you feel about passing on the knowledge that you have? Because it's, it's always interesting when, when, with boxers, they always seem to have more knowledge than they, they realise they have and seem to take to coaching so well. Do you, do you feel that? 100%. After boxing, I want to go into coaching anyway. So. It's great to have a young girl and watch her come through the Pervine journey as well. And obviously, women's boxing is growing massively now. So when Leah's uh, 16, 17, 18, boxing's going to be flying. So it's good to be part of the journey. And who were your you mentors when you were coming through? I didn't have any. So that's why it's nice now to be able to be a mentor because I never got the opportunity because women's boxing wasn't really talked about. Non existent, really. As you say, you're only 10 now, aren't you? So it, it's, it's really there for you now. It's really exciting for you to, to keep learning as you are. But what is it about Chantel then that, that you like so much? If that's a, a fair question with the sat there. <laughs> bit wise now. <laughs> I think she's really strong and uh, she perseveres and never gives up. Yeah. So what kind of a fighter are you going to be? Or you are now. But what, what kind of, is that the way you want to fight like Chantel? And what's the goal for you? I mean, I know you're at school, you've got all this to do at the moment, but what, what do you want to achieve? Uh, I want to go on the England pathway and fight for GB. Which is something that you know all about as well. So she's just got to keep doing what she's doing, hasn't she? 100 percent but it's, like she said, schoolwork as well just as important because boxing's a hard sport and you have to make sure you do your schoolwork and train hard for it also get that work done in school. And you're going to get to see Chantal's next step, which is a very exciting one. So tell us about the, the next fight and the first fight for Matrim. So I'm boxing for the WBC World Title Super Lightweight, and it's my first fight for Matrim, yes, yeah, so I'm fighting in the deep end, so I don't mind. So tell us a bit about the opponent. So it's so being an opponent change now, so I found out last week. Brazilian, 2012 bronze medalist, tough. I know her from the amateurs because we was uh, in the same tournament and stuff. I don't think we actually box, but so I've had Andriana, but we've had so many fights in the amateurs, so probably may have crossed each other, may not, but uh, fires is different and th it's there for me to win as long as I do what I do and give my best. We've seen some great women's fights recently, obviously there's the Terry Hart and Natasha Jonas, there's oh, Katie Taylor, it's the name that you Heard Fighting about. <laughs> Katie would help pursue great fights, but I think with, with your fight coming up as well, it'll be a great showcase again because you've both got that great amateur pedigree as well. So yeah. I think that that's what people can look forward to. I think is that fair? Hundred percent. It's a world title fight, and any, any world title fight is going to be a tough fight. So um, I'm fully prepared, and the fact that we have come through the amateurs to get with each other, giving it a little bit more focus because obviously I've seen her box in the amateurs, and amateurs and fights is a lot different, but. I know she's tough, I know she's going to be there for the full 10 rounds and I think it's given me that little bit of fire, a bit more of a fire in, I think it's given me a bit more of a, a bit more of a, a bit, not fear but a bit more like oh, I need to, need to make sure I get this win because obviously she does have that Olympic medal that I never got, so it's given me a bit of a boost. No feeling out process with the match room debut is there, I mean, and that's the way it is at the minute anyway isn't it, the 50-50s all, all the way through which I know it's, it's the way you'd want it anyway isn't it. 100%. I've been mean, full up and waiting for this world title shot for, well, it's been a year, over a year now, ain't it? So, I've got a grab with two hands and the opportunity's here, so I'm going to take it. What do you make of the two fights I mentioned, by the way? I know that you you fancied Natasha going into that fight because you you know were well from GB, you were sparring on the build up. I know she, she mentioned you a few times, obviously, ahead of the fight. Were you disappointed she didn't get the verdict? 
I was going for it and really was because I, th I, uh, I think she edged it by a round or two rounds and she boxed out Beskin and I think it was more of the backlash she got before the fight which was quite, it was sad to see because I was like, oh, cause I was, especially as I was uh, spam but I knew that she still had it, she still had it in her and I think uh, she was, that was an underdog, I just kept thinking how I was feeling that she was mm. and um, I knew that she was going to put out the rug and she did. So when she didn't get the, her hand raised, I thought, just, it was a shame, but um, hopefully she gets a rematch. And what about Katie? Do you think she's done enough? Mm. <laughs> no. Uh, it, it could have gone either way. I, I feel like um, it was close, but if, if you give it a draw, you couldn't have argued it. Mm. It depends what the judges are scoring. And I think Katie did perform better than the first fight. Yeah. I tell you, what do you do with Delphi and Kasuma? I mean, right, it's just, but a handful is an understatement. I mean, what an incredible kind of energy she has, and she's totally relentless, isn't she? I feel a bit sorry for her as well because she, that is two tough fights she's had with Katie, and she could have won both of them. Mm. And I feel a bit sorry for her, but um, it actually is tough, yeah. She's relentless. Who am I fighting her? And what is the plan then? So you win this world title? Yeah. And again, you, you're going to be operating at super lightweight. There are opportunities in both divisions, I suppose, lightweight, super lightweight. Again, it's, uh, without going over all ground again, there are huge fights like a Katie, yeah. like a Terry Harper or, or a Tasha if she comes again. Uh, is that what you want to do, get in the mix? That, that mix still, is that the yeah, end? Or just do your own thing? Does it, I'm going to do my own thing because obviously Katie, like, that's going nowhere, so I'm just going to do my own thing. And obviously there's my classical the way of her, mm. so it depends what Jamie and have, have in store for me, but. McCaskill, I was managed to her and I thought I was boxing her this year. And obviously she has all the belts now at 147, so I'm not going up there and just do one night, one fight, get all the belts. I think you're your number one supporter as well. You're going to be watching, <laughs> aren't you, all the way now? Yeah. And looking forward to, to doing more work with Chantel? Yeah, I'm excited to. Yeah. Well, enjoy.